here we are, we're on day three of the English Sporting and we're going to see who can eclipse Mark Windsor's fantastic score of 98. I'm just down at the beach here in Worthing, we're about five or six miles away from Southdown, so let's go and see how today actually pans out. So here we are with some uh, footage from Southdown. The shoot was held over the three days. The first day on the Friday was particularly wet and windy. The weather improved on the Saturday and then on the Sunday we were blessed with sun. The shoot was shot over 15 stands across two different courses. On the first day it was pretty wet and windy and Mark Windsor posted a 98 on the first day which looked very hard to be beaten. Here are some of the results. Mark Windsor was high gun. Runner-up was Nick Hendrick and Steve Cox. You can see them in the shoot-off in a few moments. The ladies' high gun was Cheryl Hall, with Rachel Wilcock and Sarah White shooting off for second and third respectively. Junior high gun was Phil Bailey. The junior lady high gun was Rosie Brumby. Veteran high gun was Steve Brightwell. The lady colt high gun was Amy Eastman. Colt high gun was Taylor Hedgecock. The disabled sitting high gun was Adrian Last, and the disabled standing high gun was Sam Nunn. So another trophy, how's it feel? Brilliant, yeah? absolutely brilliant. I was a bit, um, I didn't think I was going to win it, so I've just moved to Prazi. Right, okay. So to shoot it I had to borrow a gun. Right. So, um, yeah, it doesn't fit, but that was Are you good. sure, right? You enjoyed it though? Yeah, it was Which good. day did you shoot in the end? Uh, today. Today. So, nicer weather? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there was a little bit of wind on the top of the course though, wasn't there? Uh, yeah, just over the valley, yeah. yeah. yeah Any particular stands catch you out? Quite a few. Quite a few. <laughs> <laughs> and so what are you going to shoot when you go out to Cyprus? Because you're going out in a couple of days, aren't you? I'm going out on Tuesday and I'm going yeah. to take the gun I shot today. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I am, yeah. And how's, how's your se season going overall? Um, yeah, I mean, it's been a bit up and down because obviously um, I didn't... Um, my contract with Beretta expired, yeah. and although they wanted to renew it, I decided that I wanted new challenges. So it's a little bit late in the season to change guns. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm just waiting to go over to Italy to get my gun made. So as soon as I get that, I'm sure I'll be a lot happier. Well, here we go then. Mark Windsor has already established himself as the winning high gun here of the English Open 2014. Now we're going to have the runner-up spot. This will be settling. The runner-up in third, Nick Hendrick against Steve Cox. Friendly rivalry between these two here. So remember the format for this shoot-off. Five pairs from this stand. If it's all square after that, and you move to another stand. Sudden death. Best of five pairs here. Toss of the coin to see who's going to go first. Talking here with, with Phil, the senior referee, explaining the rules, explaining five stands. If it's square after that, then it'll be sudden death on this other stand. So it nicks him first. First pair. Hits the first. Hits the second, just chips the top of that one off. Very tense here. Nick likes to get on with his shooting, doesn't hang around. Second pair. Misses the first, hits the second. Three out of four. Now onto his third pair. Third pair now. Hits the first. Oh, chips the second bottom edge. That's five. Five out of six so far. Just dropped the one. Here we go. Onto his next one. Hits the first. Misses the second. Six out of eight. Drop two. Final pair. Final pair now from Nick. Calls for a bird. First out. Hits that one. And the second one only dropped ten. Eight out of ten. Now Steve Cox comes in. A renowned coach. Also Banbury guns, Gunsmiths. Okay, Steve's first pair. Hits the first. Misses the second. One scored. Pressure's on now. Can't afford to drop any more. The runner up here gets over £600. Misses that one. Hits the second one. 
Right, Steve now needs to straight the rest. It's a tough ask, but Steve, if anyone can do it, Steve can. <laughs> Misses the first, hits the second. So Nick Hendricks done it. Steve's happy to come out there. Very sporting from Steve there. Congratulations all round. Lovely shoot off there. Here we go with the crowd that is still here there. So that's great there. Lovely bit of sportsmanship. Fantastic shooting between the two. So Mark, fantastic title. Third time you've won it. How does it feel? Brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah very good. Very, very happy. I know, as you just said, it's the third time I've won it, but third time just feels as good as the first time. So. And, and the last time you won it was here at Southdown as well? It was, yeah, two two years ago. Yeah. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, two years ago. Yeah. So, um, yeah, nice to come, come back to the same ground and do it again. But, yeah, it's always a sweep. And, you know, you're collecting your trophy today in beautiful sunshine. But when you posted your score, the weather was nothing like this. Far from it. Far from it. The sun was not nowhere to be seen. My last two stands were, were in the sunshine. But by that time, I was already completely drowned and blown to bits. So, yeah, it was, it was a struggle around there. Yeah. Um, Tough course, but made ten times more tough by the weather. It was it was a big battle all the way around. So very very pleased with that score. I mean, yeah. even even in the finest of days, it's a fantastic score. But the weather made it that little bit, little bit more extra hard. So, but but still nonetheless very pleased. And, and for you, you know, you've been putting some good scores in in the registered shoots, but not quite been clicking in the big big events. No, not really. I mean, the last the last two to three months haven't been really my my time really. Um, it's, it took a bit of a lull with my, my scores. Um, I did a lot of coaching. I think that's yeah. contributing to it a bit. Um, but, I mean, this has put me right back up there where the confidence needs to be. So, yeah, I mean, this, this is a very, it's probably yeah. a special, most special English I've won. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Yeah, yeah, good, yeah, good, good. And, and again, with the change as well, you know, you've, you've always been very much a Krieg off man, but you did, you did change your Krieg off this year. Yes, I did, yeah. Uh, new Supersport arrived. Um, that must be three, three and a half, four months back now. Um, but I actually shot this with my parkours. Okay. Um, yeah. Which was, I got it out of the cabinet, remembered, mm, full and full, are you a bit over choked? I thought, no, go for it. You know, if you're not shooting very well, you must change something. And I did, and obviously, clearly, it, 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 it bettered the day, so. You know, and, and, and really, really, you know, yesterday, Nick Hendrick put a 94 in, today, Steve Cox put a 94 in as well. Mm -hmm. But, but for you, I mean, that, you know, big scores, but for you, that 98, you know, uh, that, that must mean a lot to you. Yeah, I mean, I, I never say never, and we, we've seen stranger things happen in clay shooting, but. But I mean, I felt like I was just out of reach. But I, you know, very confident I was going to get the win. But you, as I say, in sport, you never say never, and anything can happen. So, yeah, I mean, I was half confident, half not really. But. And you know, for you, it, it is it is the man behind the gun who does a lot of the work. But it's mm -hmm. also the tools that you have. You know, you've got your Krieg off. Yeah. Also, you've got your game ball cartridges. Fantastic combo. I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not kidding you. Every single target I hit round there was 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 an extra special kill it was everything was completely gone it just my mind felt so confident of every target that, that, that flew that day um, and it was actually after stand three that I said to Ron King um, I'm going to put a big score in today well congratulations Mark and good luck for the rest of the season Phil. Mid Wales shooting ground was once again the home of the Creek off DTL now in its 16th year there were four days of action-packed DTL and it really now has become a festival of down-the-line shooting and shooters from all over Europe and all over the UK came to this fantastic event. The four days were really not blessed with the kindest of weather, with the weather only really perking up on the Sunday. But this year the winner was Ian Malarkey. But also on the Thursday it saw Paul Chaplow shoot his 101st 100-300. Andrew Tudge sadly passed away earlier this year, but he was remembered in a memorial shoot in his name. This shoot took part at Gloucester Ski Club. A number of his friends were there. The cartridges actually contained his ashes, and they were all shot at his memorable old cap. It really was something to remember. Here are one or two of the results from the last week. West London Shooting School held their third FITASC, and this one was won by Peter Hurst with a fantastic 91, Dave Kempley on 89, and Steve Lovett and Ben Davis on 87 apiece. We also managed to get down to Ian Coley's shooting ground in Gloucestershire, where we saw Julian Morris become the high gun of the regular monthly 100 registered. Well, we've come to the end of the English Open 2014. Really has been an amazing three days. Awful weather on the first day, but a fantastic score of 98 from Mark Windsor. 
Nick Hendrick, Steve Cox, really good scores on 94. Cheryl Hall winning the ladies. In the coming weeks, we will be holding an exclusive interview with Nick Fellows, who is the chief executive of the CPSA. We will be posing questions to Nick that have come in from viewers. We'll be asking some of the poignant questions that people want the answers to, and we will be giving the CPSA the right to reply.